Hello friends, welcome in OCP technology. My name is Shripal and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate you how to configure Oracle network environment. Actually, uh, suppose uh, you want to make a connections with your server, database server and uh, you want to access your database server on another PC. Okay, so how to configure that network? Okay, so let's see how to configure that network. First of all, we have need minimum two machine. Okay, so here I have two machine server and client. Okay, as you know, we have two machine server and client. On server machine configuration, we have need to configure. Uh, you can see here your both machine must be ping using IP address okay that means your both machine should be ping with IP address okay so uh, first of all I'm going to check your both machine is ping or not okay so let's see how to check your both machine is ping or not first of all I'm going to check my IP address of my server machine so you can see here your IP address is 192.168.1.10 okay and uh, check the IP address of client machine so client machine IP is 119 so I am going to check it is ping or not just write here ping command and uh, ping space your client machine IP address okay 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one one nine so enter so you can see it is responding okay it was responding that means your ping is successful so now check on also same command run on client machine and check your machine is ping or not with server machine okay just ping and server machine IP address here one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot so it is also responding so that means you have both machine ping and uh, communicate with each other okay so, okay next uh, on server side machine your database must be started so let's see how to start your database on server machine uh, just login in your database and start your database okay your database is started and uh, what is second condition is second condition is your listener must be started on server machine okay so let's see how to check your listener is, is started or not so I'm going to check your listener is started or not using ls and rctl status status for check the status of listener Connection refuse that means your listener is not working. Going to start. Run. So your listener is successfully started. Going to check. Yes, it is completely successful. So your listener is working now for the your server side database. Okay. Now <clears throat> we have need to client side configuration. Now make TNS service for server side database on client machine so i'm going to make a tns service on client machine for server side database okay so uh, how to make a tns service using netca command okay run netca command here and uh, just uh, here's naming method actually we have a four type of naming method you can see this method in your book also yeah. This is a naming method. You can see here we have four type of naming method: easy, local, directory, and external. So here I'm using easy and local naming. Easy naming is used for TCP/IP connection, and local naming is used a local configuration file. Okay, so I'm using here easy and local. Okay. For more detail, you can read your book. Okay, so now I'm going to make a connection. Uh, 
just next 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 and uh, local net service name just next and add your service name here next now service name what is service name actually uh, I'm giving here we have need uh, for the service name your database name but means your server side database name your server side database name I'm giving here okay so what is server side database name so I have need to check that Select name from middle database. So your server side database name is ORCL. So we have need this put it in that server side name ORCL. Okay. Just next, next host name in the host name we have need to give the IP address of server machine. So as you know, IP address is server side machine is 192.168.1.1. .1 .1 okay next uh, would you like to test connection yes i would like to test connections just next change login username scott and uh, password is that so your connection is successfully just next next uh, would you like to configure on a net service no just next next and finish okay your NetSea service is completely successfully created and uh, next is TNS ping so your machine must be run this service TNS ping so we have need to run is TNS ping with the service name of your ORCL okay just hit enter and you can see it is responding if it is not responding then means you something is wrong in your database okay so now I'm going to connect with your server side database using client machine okay so <clears throat> from the client machine how to login in your server side database just write a command here your username and uh, your password file password here and your database name database name is ORC as HTTP. you can see you are connected okay you can check here select star select count from tab so you can see here you are in the server side database have number of tables for a 29 you can see you can check that number of tables in your server side database also select count from so you can see also here 4829 tables and also it's here 4829. So I'm giving I'm going to create a table in client side, but it will save in server side database. Okay, so you can see create table HTC and let us start from spot So it is created. You can see the record of HTC table. This is the HTC table record table record of table. And I'm going to also then check the HTC record of star from HTC. So you can see the HTC table here. Okay. So friends, this is the complete solution how to configure Oracle network environment step by step. I hope you found that video very informatic. If you want to give any suggestion to me, please write in my comment box and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.